We begin this hour in Athens, where a car bomb has exploded and the former prime minister appears to be the target. This story is developing, but Reuters is reporting that Lucas Papademos and his driver were hurt when a bomb hidden in an envelope exploded inside the car. For more on this, we want to bring in CBS News journalist Nick Barnett. He's with me on the phone from Athens. Nick, what can you tell us? Well, right now, the uh, the victims of the blast, uh, which was the, the which uh, police uh, are not they're not confirming too much right now, but uh, they do say that the the former prime minister Lucas Papademos uh, has been taken to a nearby hospital and is undergoing emergency surgery on his abdomen as a result of the blast. Um, his driver and his bodyguard were the other two people who were injured uh, during this blast, which took place on a quite a busy street in the middle of the late afternoon rush uh, in Central Athens. Any idea why the former Greek prime minister would be targeted? Well, there's certainly a number of uh, a number of uh, ways that uh, that can be speculated right now, uh, which is why why the police have uh, been uh, been pretty quiet so far on uh, on making much speculation. But uh, because of uh, a round of some rounds of domestic terrorism. Uh, which uh, have have happened here over the past few decades from time to time, uh, you know, in terms of uh, political extremism, um, which uh, is, considering that uh, Lucas Papadimos uh, was one of the prime ministers, one of the recent prime ministers who presided over uh, the, the economic bailouts that Greece has received, which involved austerity measures that were deeply unpopular. So uh, one, one could point uh, towards any possible extremist organizations that would target politicians uh, because of the yeah, and we saw just last week another austerity measure passed and some violence uh, protests that were going on in the area. What about this area specifically in Athens? When was the last time something like this happened? Well, something to this level, I mean, which um, we could essentially, we could call this an, an attempted assassination. This has been quite a long time since we've had something to this magnitude happen here in Greece. Oftentimes, a lot of these uh, acts of domestic terrorism do not have any victims, and they're usually more so to make a point where they, they'll be a parcel bomb that will be placed in front of a bank during, uh, during you know, the pre-dawn hours when there's no people around just to send a message without having any victims. But because this did specifically target uh, not, not just anybody but a former prime minister, this uh, could be an indication that one of the, one of the domestic uh, terrorist groups that has been resurgent as a result of the economic crisis over the past few years here in Greece, uh, this uh, could be a, a quite a bold new step uh, that they're taking in order to make their presence known even more so now. And that speculation that possibly could be domestic terrorism, any speculation beyond that, that it could be something more? At the moment, at the moment, no, because this is uh, the, the, because of the who the victim was and because of the way that the, because of the style that this looks to have been carried out uh, so far, nothing beyond uh, a possible act of domestic terrorism is being looked at right now uh, as, as the cause of this. Nick Barnett with the very latest in Athens. Thank you.